Hello students. Now we'll start the next topic of our subject business statistics. So far we have completed the three measures of uh, averages, measures of central tendency and the three measures of averages we have done arithmetic mean, median, mode. So we have seen what are the merits, demerits of each one and we have applied different formulas for calculating the mean, median and mode. So many problems we have done in the previous videos. Now we are moving on to the next average that is geometric mean. In this uh, video, I am going to explain you the meaning of the term geometric mean and what are the merits and demerits of this average and what are the methods of calculating how to calculate the geometric mean of individual series, discrete series, continuous series then what are the application areas where we can conveniently apply this geometric mean lastly weighted geometric mean these are the topics we are going to discuss in this video come on let us begin with the concept of geometric mean geometric mean is the nth root of the product of n items of a series concentrate on the wording geometric mean is the nth root of the product of n items of a given series for example if there are only two values a and b we want to find out the geometric mean of a and b take the product of a and b and put it under root the root of a into b will give you geometric mean of two numbers so simply i can write on like this if there are two numbers like a and b the geometric mean is equal to a into b under root that's all if two numbers are there geometric mean we can calculate like this if three numbers are there a b and c the geometric mean of three numbers will be the cube root of the product of a b c cube root so we can write on like this g m is equal to a into b into c cube root or we can write on a b c to the power of 1 by 3 this is called geometric mean this is the meaning of the term geometric mean it's the nth root of the product of n items of a given series but while calculating it will be very difficult because we have to use logarithm values if only two values are there easily we can find out geometric mean simply we have to put it under root but when more than three three more than three items are there we have to make use the logarithm table to calculate geometric mean now what are the merits of geometric mean in examination you may be asked a theory question what is geometric mean what are the merits and demerits ab iske advantage bhi hai kuch drawbacks bhi hai to advantage kya hai rigidly defined again sab mein bada advantage to ye hai ki iska definition bilkul clear cut hai every author every person will say the same definition of geometric mean it's the nth root of the product of n items of a series that's it no two different opinions are there no different interpretations are there regarding the meaning of the term geometric mean considers all values unlike in case of mode we are considering only few values ignoring all other values but here in geometric mean we consider all the values so it's a representative of the mass of data subjected to further statistical treatment in many statistical analysis we use geometric mean so application of geometric mean is wider next one is not affected by extreme values if in the given data extreme values are given small value or large value it will not affect the geometric mean so these are some of the advantages or merits of geometric mean now what are the demerits drawbacks the first drawback is difficult to understand and calculate ab iske calculations mein dekhenge it will require a little bit extra effort complicated method is there because a person a student must be perfect in her taking the logarithm values finding out log finding out the value according to log so it's little bit difficult comparatively compared to mean median mode agar mean median mode se compare karenge to geometric mean is a little bit difficult to calculate cannot be determined by inspection just like a mode hai ya median hai only by inspection we can find out not necessary to apply the formula median hai 
मीडियम को इजिली हम लोकेट कर सकते हैं मोड को लोकेट कर सकते हैं इंस्पेक्शन से बट जोमेट्रिक मीन कैन नॉट बी लोकेटेड बाई इंस्पेक्शन नेक्स्ट वन कैनॉट बी लोकेटेड ग्राफिकली बाई ड्रॉइंग ए ग्राफ ऑल्सो वी कैनॉट बी एबल टू फाइंड आउट जोमेट्रिक मीन अनलाइक मीडियम एंड मोड मीडियम और मोड का वैल्यू हम ग्राफिकली भी मालूम कर सकते हैं यहां पर नहीं मालूम कर सकते देन कैनॉट बी यूज टू टू स्टडी क्वालिटेटिव डाटा ओनली फॉर क्वान्टिटेटिव डाटा वी कैन मेक यूज जोमेट्रिक मीन the values which are measurable those values only we can calculate geometric mean so these are some of the drawbacks now calculation of gm how to calculate the geometric mean now individual series three types of series are there individual series geometric mean is equal to anti log al stands for anti log anti log of summation log x by n so what you have to do is x values will be given x values problem mein de diya for example like this i'll show you through a, for, i mean example by taking an example i'll try to explain you like x values are there 5 10 15 20 25 30 these are the individual values given now we want the logarithm of these values so what you have to do is you have to find out log x You have to find out log x. So how to find out the log x in the next video when I do the problem, I'll explain you how to take the log values. How to find out the log values? Up x ka value five hai. So what is the value of five in logarithm? What is the log ten, log fifteen, log twenty like that? So we'll get the summation log x. Take the total of log x. We'll get summation log x. This summation log x will be divided by n. n का मतलब how many values do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, six values. The total number of values are six. So log geometric uh, mean मालूम करने का formula anti log of summation log x by n. जो भी यहाँ पर log x आएगा उसको divide कर देंगे six से. Some value will get. और वो value का anti log rhythm table refer करके find out करेंगे what is the geometric mean. ट्रिक मीन मालूम करने के लिए पहले ये फॉर्मुला अप्लाई कर देना यू विल गेट ए वैल्यू एंड यू हैव टू रेफर दैट वैल्यू इन एंटी लॉगरिथम टेबल एंटी लॉगरिथम टेबल रेफर करके हम उसका फाइनल आंसर ज्योमेट्रिक मीन मालूम करेंगे दिस इज द मेथड ऑफ कैलकुलेटिंग ज्योमेट्रिक मीन इन इंडिविजुअल सीरीज नॉट डिस्क्रिट सीरीज डिस्क्रिट सीरीज द फॉर्मुला इज ज्योमेट्रिक मीन इज इक्वल टू एंटी लॉग ऑफ समेशन एफ लॉग एक्स बाई एन अब डिफरेंस क्या है देखिए इंडिविजुअल सीरीज और डिस्क्रिट सीरीज में देर इज नो फ्रीक्वेंसी हियर बट इन डिस्क्रिट सीरीज देर इज फ्रीक्वेंसी सो वॉट यू हैव टू डू इज वी आर गिवन द एक्स वैल्यूज एंड वी आर गिवन द फ्रीक्वेंसीज द फ्रीक्वेंसीज आर लेटेड बी टू सिक्स ट्वेल्व फोर थ्री वन सपोज दीज आर द फ्रीक्वेंसीज गिवन दीज आर द एक्स वैल्यूज गिवन सो वॉट इज योर जॉब फर्स्ट यू हैव टू फाइंड आउट द लॉग एक्स पहले जैसा एक्स लॉग एक्स मालूम करें अभी भी लॉग एक्स मालूम करेंगे यूल गेट द लॉग एक्स वैल्यूज नाउ मल्टीप्लाई दिस एफ इन टू लॉग एक्स एफ इन टू लॉग एक्स यू हेव टू मल्टीप्लाई द फ्रीक्वेंसी कॉलम विथ लॉग एक्स कॉलम ये दोनों कॉलम को मल्टीप्लाई करें तो एफ लॉग एक्स आ गए नाउ फाइंड आउट द टोटल ऑफ समेशन एफ लॉग एक्स विल गेट द टोटल ऑफ समेशन एफ लॉग एक्स Now substitute summation f log x by n. N stands for the total of frequencies. This frequency, the total of frequency is called n. Divide कर देंगे, you will get a value. Refer that value in anti logarithm table. In anti logarithm table, you have to refer that value. We'll get the geometric mean. This is the method of calculating geometric mean in discrete series. In continuous series, exactly similar. Geometric mean is equal to anti log of summation f log m by n. Now, what is the difference between discrete and continuous series? Here we have taken f log x. Here we are taking f log m. M stands for mid values. Continuous series me class interval rata hai zero to ten, ten to twenty, twenty to thirty, thirty to forty like that. We find out the mid values. We find out the mid values. Or jo bhi mid values aaya, uska logarithm malum karenge. So log m i. जैसा यहां पर log x मालूम किए थे 
कंटिन्यूस सीरीज में लॉग एम मालूम करेंगे मिड वैल्यूज तो लॉग एम आने के बाद वी मल्टीप्लाई द फ्रीक्वेंसी विथ लॉग एम दैट इज कॉल्ड एफ लॉग एम एफ लॉग एम देन टेक द टोटल ऑफ एफ लॉग एम डिवाइडेड बाय एन जो भी वैल्यू आएगा उसको रेफर करेंगे एंटी लॉग टेबल वेन यू रेफर इन एंटी लॉग टेबल विल गेट द जोमेट्रिक मीन just a birds eye view you will get by listening this lecture then if you follow this uh, the coming videos regarding the problems of geometric mean the concept will be completely clear regarding how to calculate geometric mean right so these are the three methods these formulas of calculating geometric mean in individual series discrete series and continuous series applications in theory in examination theory will be a theory question will be asked regarding what are the application areas where geometric mean are more commonly applied suitable so suitable in averaging rates if the rates are given we want to find out the average rate so whenever we are required to calculate the average rate of increase or decrease there we apply geometric mean example percentage and rates of increase between two periods agar two periods data de diya for example the population in 2010 and the population in 2020 the rates are given then we want to find out what is the average rate of increase during this period of two periods time that means 2010 2020 ye 10 periods ye decade mein kitna percentage increase hua to wo malum karne ke liye we conveniently apply geometric mean similarly it will be very widely used in construction of index numbers index numbers malum karne ke liye bhi geometric mean use hota apart from that we want to find out the percentage increase in prices sales प्रोडक्शन कंजम्पन पॉपुलेशन ये सारी चीजों में एवरेज रेट ऑफ इंक्रीज मालूम करने के लिए कॉमनली अप्लाइड एवरेज इज जोमेट्रिक मीन सो वी हैव कंप्लीट अप टू हिम नॉ वेटेड जोमेट्रिक मीन देर टू टाइप्स ऑफ जोमेट्रिक मीन सिंपल जोमेट्रिक मीन वेटेड जोमेट्रिक इन वेटेड जोमेट्रिक मीन वी कैलकुलेट जोमेट्रिक मीन बाई कैलकुलेटिंग द वेट बाई असाइनिंग द वेट टू इंडिविजुअल वैल्यूज जो इंडिविजुअल वैल्यूज है उसको वेट्स असाइन करेंगे वेट्स असाइन करने के बाद जोमेट्रिक में मालूम करेंगे तो द प्रोसीजर इज एक्टली सिमिलर टू वेटेड अरिथमेटिक मीन ऑलरेडी हम अरिथमेटिक मीन मालूम करें स्टार्टिंग में तो अरिथमेटिक मीन में वेटेड अरिथमेटिक मीन मालूम किए थे तो द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ जोमेट्रिक अरिथमेटिक वेटेड जोमेट्रिक मीन इज एक्जैक्टली सिमिलर टू वेटेड अरिथमेटिक मीन जैसा वेटेड अरिथमेटिक मीन मालूम करे थे उसी तरह वेटेड जोमेट्रिक मीन भी मालूम the weights will be assigned so the formula for calculating this weighted geometric mean is anti log of summation w log x to pehle x ke values de diya to wo x ke values ka logarithm malum karenge to log x aa jayega ye log x ko multiply karenge weights se weights will be given in the problem to multiply log x with weight will get summation w log x w stands for weight w log x This summation w log x is divided by summation w. This will give you weighted geometric mean anti log. You will get the anti log. Again, you have to refer the anti log. Then we will get weighted geometric mean. That's all. The theory regarding this geometric mean is not much. It's very simple. First, we have discussed the meaning. Then we have discussed the merits and demerits. Then what are the formulas for calculating geometric mean and application areas where we can apply the geometric mean and lastly we have discussed about the weighted geometric mean. So whatever we have discussed now will apply this to our problems of calculating geometric mean. So in the next video I am going to start the problems on geometric mean. So follow it to get a maximum advantage of getting a good command on geometric mean.